Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just had a whole mess of uh, guitar lessons and it's now like four hours later or whatever from the last couple of videos. So I had to back up a bit because now it's darker outside so we're not getting light in from the window. But anyway, okay, so we talked about um, music theory, why it's important, and um, learning the notes on your instrument why that's important. Then uh, the major scale pattern. Okay. Now the next thing is when you have your major scale, which I hope from the last lesson you, uh, you know, wrote out a whole bunch of major scales. Um, ideally, all twelve. There's only twelve. It's not that big of a deal. And once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. Like I mean, you could write them out in ten minutes. Uh, but it, once you get the hang of it. But anyway. So now we have uh, chords that come out of the major scale, okay? And this is sort of the next, like, really big step. Okay, so uh, if we go back to the major scale, we have the seven notes, and then the eighth note is the seventh note. Uh, the eighth note is the first note again. Sorry, it's been... It's weird how, like, four and a half hours or whatever of lessons like really just kind of fries your brain, like four and a half hours of non-stop talking uh, and teaching kids and all that. Uh, but anyway, so if we do say the C major scale, okay, C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, if we number the notes of the scale, one through seven, which is the standard way to do it, Okay, then we would have a chord built off of note number one, the first note. So in this case, C. Okay, and it's really simple. All you do is do three notes, skipping a note in between each of the three notes. Okay, I think I made it more confusing than it should be. But it'll make sense in a second. Okay, so we're going to talk about triads, which are chords that contain three notes. Okay, so the first triad of the C major, coming out of the C major scale, is the first note, skip the second note of the scale, the third note of the scale, skip the fourth note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. Okay, so the notes of the scale that make up the first chord are one, three, five. Okay, in, in C major, those notes are C, E, G. So the notes C, E, G played together form a C major chord, okay? And you can play them in any order because you're playing them together, okay? So uh, what I'm playing is G, C, E together is a C major chord, okay? If I played this... It's C, I'm playing C, E, G, another C, and another E. Doesn't matter if I'm duplicating, if I'm doubling or tripling notes, it doesn't matter because all I need are those three notes and no other notes, just those three notes. So C, E, G is the first chord to come out of the C major scale. Okay, now the second chord to come out of the C major scale starts on the second note of the scale. So it's the second note, skip the third note, the fourth note, skip the fifth note, the sixth note. Okay, so now it's two, four, six note wise of C major. So that ends up being D, F, A, and that's a D minor chord. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter the major or minor, we'll get to that later. Okay, but the chord is D, F, A. So, play them together wherever you want. Okay, I'm doubling uh, the D. Uh, doubling the D and doubling the A. Okay, and one F. So, two Ds, two As, and one F is still D, F, A. Okay, then the third chord out of the, the major scale, okay, is going to be the third note, ignore the fourth, or skip over the fourth, the fifth note, skip over the sixth, and the seventh note, 
Okay, so now it's three, five, seven. Okay, and that is E minor, E, G, B, E, G, B, in C major. Okay? So then the fourth would be the fourth, the fourth chord would be the fourth note, the sixth note, and then the eighth note, which is the first note again. Then the fifth chord would be five, seven, and nine, which is really the second note again. Okay, if you think of it like a circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So if you went around in a circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is one again, nine is two again, 10 is 3 again, 11 is 4 again, 12 is f 5 again, yeah, uh, I'm starting to like try to do it in my head, uh, but you get the idea, okay? So then the sixth is uh, the sixth chord coming out of any major scale, okay? Because I'm not giving you notes anymore, I'm just giving you the numbers. Okay, and that applies to any major scale if you use numbers. Okay, so it's six, eight, which is one, and then ten, which is three. So, uh, did I say six? Yeah, I'm playing the wrong note. No, I'm playing the right notes. Okay, so six, eight. So six and then seven is seven, two, four. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. But all you do is you start on whatever note you're going to start on, say the second note, and play that note as the first note of the, is, is the first note of the chord. You can play them in any, any order. But the second, and then you skip a note and then the fourth, so you're skipping the third, and then skip a note, and then the next one. So for all of them, okay, so if I'm doing like say G major, okay, the first chord, one, three, five, the second chord, two, four, six, the third chord, three, five, seven, the fourth chord, four, six, eight, or one again, the fifth chord, five, seven, two, or, you know, the seven, ninth note. Six is uh, six, one, three. Yeah, six, one, three. And then seven, two, four. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll try to clear it up if I... <laughs> If, if, if I don't make it even more confusing, but if you have any questions, just comment and I'll try to clear it all up. So those are the chords that come out of whatever major scale you happen to be playing. Okay? And you number the chords, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like they do with um, the notes of the chord, uh, the notes of the scale, sorry. And uh, usually you use Roman numerals. And... Uh, here's where things get sort of a little more abstract, but it's fairly easy. It's like an algebra thing, okay? If the scale is a pattern, which it is, which we did in a previous lesson, okay? And then the way you build the chords off of the notes in the scale is a pattern, which it is. A note, skip a note, a note, skip a note, and a note. So you have three notes skipped one note apart scale-wise. Okay, so if the scale is a pattern and the chords you build out of them are a pattern, then the type of chords that they are is also a pattern. Okay, so it's like an algebra thing. Uh, if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. Think about that for a second. Okay, so um, the scale is a pattern, the chords are a pattern, so the type of chords are a pattern. So whatever chord you build off of the first note of the scale is a major chord. 
Whatever you build off of the second note of a major scale is a minor chord. The third is a minor chord. The fourth is major. The fifth is major. The fourth is minor. Sixth, sorry, the sixth is minor. I shouldn't do these this late in the evening. The sixth is minor, and then the seventh is a diminished chord. Okay, so it's just kind of like a weird. So you end up with you know, a, a diminished chord. Kind of a weird. Okay, so first chord is major, second chord is minor, third chord is minor, fourth chord is major, fifth chord is major, sixth chord is minor, seventh chord is diminished chord. And um, a lot of people just, when they're songwriting and things like that, skip over the seventh chord because the diminished needs a little extra special care. Uh, a lot of times people will just throw in a minor chord and call it a day, although that's out of key technically. But nonetheless, there we are, chords, major scale. I'm wrapping things up, heading out of here, going home and having some dinner and relaxing. So, hope this helped.